Good morning. It is 6.28 a.m. August 10th, 2019. And my lady of the garden, my last video, she is doing very well in the yard. And the tiki solar light is still burning all night into the morning. Subscribe. Check out that video where I give a review on the Tiki solar lights and where I purchased them and how much I purchased them for. They are a great investment if you like to have flames and flickering lights in your garden. All right, let's get started today with our new project and have a nice time watching it. Well, the project for today is one of my cement gnomes. I already made a male gnome and I will show you that later on in the video so stay tuned and today I'm going to make a little cute female gnome and all I need is my cement this is the exact same cement mix that I used for the dress quick setting cement I picked this up at Home Depot and Lowe's for $12. It's a 20 pound bucket and I got quite a bit left yet. I already made a gnome and I already decorated and used the cement for the dress form that's out in the garden. And the things that you will need is gloves, an empty plastic container to mix some cement with, a bigger plastic container to mix um, a bigger amount of cement mix, scissors, some extra material, and a couple of old socks. These are Christian's old socks. And I'm going to use lace. Have some water on hand. And I have this little hanging rack that I placed up in the garage right against the wall to stretch out my material while I'm using it and then a little wooden base to set my stuff on and then I use plastic to work and mold the gnome it doesn't stick to plastic cement does not stick to plastic it will stick to wood and cloth but not plastic so this is the stuff I am having and this is what I'm going to do going to mix up my first batch of cement and then just make the bottom of her body. I need rubber bands to do so as well and I do have rubber bands in my container and sometimes it's good to have a little uh, spatula knife, putty knife to smooth things out. I, I don't usually use this but it's here just in case and so let's get going. And you hear Miss Nova Lee in the background chewing on her bone. This is August 10th, 2019, 7.30 in the morning. All right, once all the material is laid out within my reach, the socks, the socks, cuffs, rubber bands, extra material, I start my first batch. This is going to be her body. And wear gloves and also wear a face mask if you're not in a ventilated area. Cement powder can get in your lungs and your lungs have water inside them and they can produce the powder and little hard rocks in your lungs. They're minute, they're very small, but if you work with cement all the time and you don't cover your face and you inhale the particles, it adds up. 
So anyways, just thick enough for uh, a pudding consistency. And then we will place this in the bottom of the very first sock. Alright, I have to get my gloves on. Take pictures. Okay, here's her head. I just filled the sock with clay. Well, I caught clay, but it is cement mix. And made two little balls with rubber bands and then a ball for her nose and then formed the sock for the ears and this is the top this is her head next i will make the hat Okay, so I soaked all those little strips of blue fabric that I cut and one piece of little lace. I soaked it and I placed it around that bottle and formed it upward. Now I take 15 minutes to let this cure and then I'm going to go around it with a little bit of water on my finger and just smooth it out here and there. But this is her head, her ears, and her mouth and her nose. Do you see it or not? She's going to be a big gnome, bigger than the other one, but that's okay. She's the boss. This project takes time. It's not finished in one day. This will be three days. I have to make her body yet and then her feet. But that's easy. You just fill the second sock with cement and then shape two bigger balls down at the bottom into the feet and then place her head on top of the body. But that has to be in a separate bowl. This will set till tomorrow. But like I said, in about 15 minutes, I'll go around it and smooth it out here and there just to add a little bit more cement to it to keep it together. Gotta be a grumpy looking old lady, hey? <laughs> okay, have to go wash my hands and I'll continue later. Okay, I'm back. Just used the second sock, filled it with cement, used two rubber bands, and made the little balls down at the bottom and formed them into feet. I will later on or tomorrow morning have to add a scoop of cement and then attach her head to this body but this has to cure at least 15 hours and we're in the morning August 10th 2019 listening to the news in the garage and making a female noom Cute. Hashtag artist freedom. See you later. Well, after I left the female gnome out in the garage, I came in to touch up the male gnome. This is day four working on this sculpted piece. I started it when I was trying to finish up the outdoor lady in the garden statue. Make sure you see that video. It's the last video before this one. And I sculpted him in two separate pieces. I did the beard separately and then the body. And, oh, wait a minute, and then I sculpted the boots. 
So he was actually four separate pieces. Like the gnome out in the garage. She's two separate pieces right now. I don't know if I'll add any more pieces to her yet. But anyhow, I primed him up. And then I spray painted him copper metallic. He received a couple layers. A day later, I primed the bugs in white to cover the copper. Alright, and then once that dried, I added the colors. And even the dragonfly is three different colors. Four different colors basically there's yellow in there too yellow fuchsia pink black and a little blue it's all mixed in there and here's the feelers remember we placed the caterpillar with nails I gave this dragonfly feelers but then yesterday I found my burnt orange metallic I love these paints from Lumiere they're not cheap but they are worth it when you buy a bottle and use your paint sparingly and I went around and highlighted certain areas of this gnome once he's outside and in the sun it just brings more depth into the sculpt now he is sculpted with tights. Miss Legacy had a pair of red tights she can no longer wear. And I spilled the tights with cement. And his hat is sculpted with strips of fabric. And I just went around, see it? You can see it here in the light, in the fluorescent light. Some of that burnt orange metallic. Just something that I like to do when I create my paintings and things I like to bring out a little bit more of a dim dimension to my projects because I always feel it brings them to life and creates a more whimsical effect now I'll show you the bottom of this sculpted piece and he is heavy I swear he's about six at least six to eight pounds He's heavier than my dog. See on the bottom I have not painted it yet. I'll paint it and sign it. August 2019. And here's the bottom. And since the beard does drape, he becomes a shelf sitter. Or when he's sitting on the deck, he has to sit at the edge of the deck or the edge of the stairs which is fine he's very heavy he won't move somebody could kick him over if they wanted to but like an animal won't be able to knock him off he's very heavy and you take care of him just keep him clean he should last forever I am going to gloss the bugs yet with a protective coating so the paint doesn't fade other than that, signing it and doing that, I'm finished with him. I hope you like him. Being the compassionate person that I am, this cute little bumblebee ladybug mixture represents Everly, because we call her Everbee for a nickname and this cute little ladybug mixed bug beetle represents legacy because we call her Legabee and the dragonfly represents me and if you look on Facebook you'll see an old Relay for Life team that I created back in the day when I was healthy enough to have fun and raise money had the energy and the health but we're called Teen Dragonflies and we even made the paper a couple times and you can see that dragonfly represents me and all that hard work that I put into 
this Relay for Life team. So check it out on Facebook. The Facebook page is closed, but it's never been removed. It's a team Dragonflies in Bay City, Michigan. Relay for Life. I'm in there with my team. The dragonfly represents people who have cancer and their survivors. Because the dragonfly will fly non-stop from the time it is obtaining its wings after its larvae stage. And they only last six to eight months, but they fly non-stop. A cancer survivor reminds me of a dragonfly, and that's why. And I think yet in the future I will show you how I created this grasshopper. Now I've been, people say it looks like a spider, but a spider would have eight legs. This has six, and I just have him around in my decorations right now to remind me someday to show you how to create a uh, grasshopper. Grasshopper means a leap of faith because they only jump forward. They never jump backwards. So they only look forward to tomorrow. They don't worry about yesterday. And as you already know, if you've been following me, a lot of my ideas come from within my heart. I have a lot of empathy and a lot of compassion. And I do have a minor degree in sociology, which is the study of people. Thus, this is why I like to make things, because you cannot buy items like this in a store that's personalized. You create your own. Hashtag, art is freedom. Share my ideas to other Facebook pages and Pinterest and Twitter. If you have an Instagram, share. I don't have an Instagram. Not yet, or, you know, maybe later, I don't know. And here he is, and the female gnome. I will probably do the opposite with her. I will paint her and decorate her, but then maybe that caterpillar, I'll just color copper. So they kind of are a pair, but then they're separate individualities too. Now let me take a few pictures, and we'll continue with this video. What a whimsical lad. August 12, 2019. She's in a new base. She was very heavy, so I had to add a base to her bottom. And she has to cure. Be another day. I gave her a little Dollar Tree pot and added a little caterpillar down here on her foot. August 14th finally get to prime and paint this grumpy old lady what do you think grumpy gnome with a little place to actually grow a flower or put some succulents in or whatever you want to place inside the pot but we have our little caterpillar here we have a caterpillar here so it's time to prime her up and get her looking alive and whimsical. This is Miss Jones, August 14, 2019. I mixed glitter with paint and now the second coat is going on around the lace. And I'm just blotching it on so the glitter will dry and shine through. Just the 
highlight the lace a bit and I add a glitter to the hat in the paint. You see it? Yes. Just come along. Smile, Granny. Not you. <laughs> You're not a Granny, are you? No. You're Miss Legacy. Uh huh. I mixed up a little bit more cement, and then I stuck a prism down in it. She is growing crystals. Extremely whimsical. Gold caterpillars. Well, that one's gold. This one's goldish orange. And I have to finish up her face just a bit. And I think I'll be finished. We went swimming, took a break, and then we came back. Today is the last day. Yeah, today's the last day of the community pool. Wish I had the tape still rolled in.